Hi everyone, this is Reed. If you follow along with Emily's page, you know me from mine, Dustin's Craft, and also is the boyfriend most likely. So this is going to be our first video in a series of, I guess, boyfriend cocktails, I think is what we're calling it. Boyfriend bartending, that's a better name. So I'm going to do something fairly simple. Now most of my cocktails I've come up with just using whatever I have around the house. So whatever liquor I have, whatever fillers I have, whatever, whatever I have. It's kind of use a mix right here. So I'm going to go over the ingredients real quick and we'll get into this. So first off, tequila. I like an Ajo or Raspado tequilas. She likes the clear stuff. So we're going to use our Casa Dragonis. Now this is a little bit more of a pricey tequila, but this was her anniversary present. As of today, we're celebrating our five year anniversary. So that was an early anniversary present from her. So I use that. That's it, the Casa Dragonis. We are going to use, instead of triple sec, Grand Marnier for the filler. Next, we got this Trace Agaves Organic Margarita Mix. I actually really like this stuff a lot. It also makes a really great mix. So, we'll just about that. We use a little bit of a mix of peach and orange bitters. This is going to be kind of a weird cocktail. And for the final filler, I've got both grapefruit and lemon spin thread, which is the main focus of this machine. Well, this is so do I. Use it mainly for gin drinks. I'm going to try something a little bit different. So to start us off, I'm not going to make a super strong cocktail today. Use tequila as you'd like. I'm just going to do one and a quarter shot here. So this gives a little bit more of a light-hearted tequila. And we're going to use a half shot of Grand Marnier. This is going to give you that orange and some of that sweet. Pretty simple right there. This is going to get pretty pricey. Um, you just need one of these small bottles. You can usually get these behind the shelves. They're like your sampler bottles. Um, yeah, Grand Marnier is another good ingredient. Now this is where I'm going to get a little bit different. I'm actually going to put a dash of peach bitters in here. And I'm going to put two dashes of orange bitters. Normally when I make a margarita, I also use orange juice. So I'm going to use some of these orange bitters. Put a couple dashes of that in there. It's pretty strong stuff, so you don't need a whole lot of it. Just enough. Then for our final filler, our green mix, just a little bit. A little bit more. Shake it up, Martini style. Don't stop shaking until your hands start to burn. Nice and pink like that. Our final glass. Put some of the lemon spin drip in here. So this is just sparkling mineral water. Lemon juice. And we'll use some of the grapefruit juice. Grapefruit spin drip. Same thing. Sparkling mineral water with grapefruit juice. And then we're going to top the drink off with a nice little shaking up bit here. I don't have my stirring spoon because it's over there, so I'm going to do this the guy way. Never shake your drink with carbonated anything. Let's see how this came out. Let's see if it passes the girlfriend test. Not a bad cocktail. Again, first time I've ever made it. Just throwing things together the way I usually make things. But add a lemon or some lime, finish it off. I don't have any because I work all day and I don't need to go to the grocery store. Nice little light drink for the summertime. Not too heavy, not too sweet. Just right. So we use the rest of this over here. Thank you for joining us in this video. And this is the first episode in the Boyfriend Bartending series. Again, a lot of this stuff is made with her health coaching and nutritionist knowledge in mind. That's where a lot of picks for these ingredients come from, because this could easily just be some margarita mix tequila and Sprite. But this is me trying to figure out how to make really good cocktails, really good tasting cocktails that aren't too expensive to make at home, pretty simple to make. 
um, that you yourselves can do at home following some of our other videos with nutrition. The only other thing, a lot of doubt, you don't have to have the bitters, it's just a little added for me, just because I wanted to try it out. But... <clears throat> so I decided to interject something here after we're done talking about it, because it's literally the first time I've ever made this drink, to rate it, and I don't know, what do you think? I think it's like a nine for me, honestly. It's really, really good. Nine one. So we've decided our scale of things for the video is going to be noms. Because that's what I eat, is noms. It's alcohol. I always ask for noms. It's alcohol, so I'm going to use a PewDiePie scale of very nice. This, this is like a six very nice. Six very nice. It's a nine for me. A nine? It's like perfect fruit flavor. Not too overpowering, not too much alcohol. Like. Really, really refreshing. I keep in mind, I literally just threw this together because mm -hmm. she was like, make a drink. And I'm going to record it. I was like, okay, uh, I don't have lemons. I can't make half the thing I make. This is why I love him because he makes me delicious drinks off of the top of his head. And then I get triggered alcohol. That too. It's her fault. She created a monster. She complains about it when I talk about alcohol, but then I make her drinks and she likes it. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, this is, this is different because it's not... Okay, so if you've ever had a ranch water, which some of y'all out there might know about and some may not, became a really popular Texas drink, I mean, it's got the news, but it's just like Topo Chico or mineral, mineral water, tequila, and lime. Not a bad drink, it's a perfect summer drink. You get that little bit of tequila in there and the lime is just super refreshing. So it's kind of like a... It's like, like a ranch water, but like way more up level. Like fruity. But it's not super fruity, it's still citrusy. I think the grapefruit, because I think the grapefruit mixed with like the dash of peach, it just, it tastes like Texas in the summertime. But it kind of really does. It's actually really refreshing. Like I, I could easily drink a couple of these. Mm -hmm. And since we split it, it means it's only about three quarter shot of tequila for each of us and then a fifth of the Grand Marnier each which equals out to about a full shot of alcohol for each of us in a drink. So I mean if you're out like barbecuing and you want to have something to drink and stay <laughs> hydrated and get buzzed at the same time, this is like perfect because water, water, looks like water. <laughs> and it works! Yes, I, I, have that. I think I'm adding this to my list of requested drinks on rotation. Riley wants to be in the video. Pup pup. They can't see you down there. For those of you that watch our videos, does she not look like like Dobie from the Lord of the Rings? Dobby. 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 <laughs> it's totally Dobby, but I'm gonna say Dobby. I mean, look, it's just like, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's too nerdy, just nerdy boyfriend, nutritionist girl from the Looks like Dobby. Well, the Dobby. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know, I'm, I like it, but I'm on the fence, because I think if I was going to purposely go make a drink, this wouldn't be it. That's like a I don't know, like, I guess if I was going to purposely sit down to make a drink, like to have a drink, this wouldn't be it. But with dinner, or if you're outside of so I would say like a barbecue or like a summertime, like poolside drink. Like in place. Like side beach drink. In place of like a super sugary sweet margarita. Yeah. And if you want it to be a little sweeter, you can just add a little more of this or add a little more of this and it's going to equal out, so. It is perfect sweetness for me. Perfect. Yeah, it's actually... It's actually pretty good. So, for those of you that try to make it at home, and try to follow the recipe in my horrible instructions, uh, comment down below if, if you liked it or not. Come back, come back to the video and leave, leave us a comment or hop on her Instagram page, let her know, or hop on my Instagram page at Best In Its Craft and her just Emily Joy Wellness. So let us, let us know. Send, send us a message. Can we go eat now? Yes. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.